Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, thank you, Senator Thomas, for bringing this important resolution forward. I, I agree with colleagues. There are some great remarks. Um, I wanted to state that when the Holocaust started, it started with rhetoric, political rhetoric. And then it descended into vandalism that had taken root in the fertility of that, of that rhetoric. And then it spread to lawlessness, where law enforcement not only turned the other cheek, it actually participated. And then we know what happened with the mass extermination program. Today in our country right now, we have a setting where we have rhetoric that is providing fertile ground. And many of us in our districts are experiencing now the next level, which is vandalism. Um, in my district, we've had synagogues vandalized, churches vandalized, mosques vandalized. Just last week, had a church in Pleasantville, New York vandalized um, for the crime of flying the pride flag uh, outside of the church. Um, and, and what we do every time this happens in our district is, is we say that this is not acceptable here. You know, that, that white power stickers are not acceptable in school bathrooms. Swastikas are not acceptable to be carved into playground equipment. And, and it's so critical that all of us in this body stand and every time these things happen in our districts, we gather with like-minded people and we say, not on our watch not on our watch, because we don't want this descending to the next level. We don't want people thinking that, that this distorted thinking, this diseased thinking, is somehow acceptable. And I know in my district and in the Hudson Valley, we are far richer because of our diversity. And that's what makes us such a wonderful place to live. But it's going to take all of us working together when, when hate rears its ugly head uh, that we need to say, no, this is not acceptable, this is not a prank, this is not okay on our watch. And so today, on, on, on this solemn day remembering the Holocaust, we need to learn those lessons and apply them today because we are a tolerant and accepting and loving state of New York, and, and bigotry has really no place in the state of New York. Thank you.